Tom Holland is hyping up what happens next with Spider-Man. What exactly is Spider-Man going to be dealing with in terms of what goes on in No Way Home and beyond? And he says that the next step of his life is something we've never seen before. So the title of this video is going to have to be something a little bit more, well, um, how do I say it? Not really what I'm talking about in this video is the best way to say it because of potential spoilers for what happens at the end of Spider-Man reportedly, where Tom Holland is apparently going to be swinging off as Spider-Man going into college. Well, Tom Holland did reveal, thanks to a recent interview that's made its way online, that the next chapter for Spider-Man is something we've never seen before. Yes, it's also going to be college, but also something more than that. Something more that relates to Peter Parker. He is finally heading to college, yes, but there is more to the story in regards to how everything kind of connects to one another, the characters, the journey, what happens, the multiverse, the ambiguous approach to things, um, and everything that's going on. So he's trying to keep it very vague, and this does make sense. But again, we know that his MCU journey is going to continue to live on in some way or another. Even if they decide to suddenly pull Spider-Man from the MCU for the new trilogy or whatever they do, and it's still co-produced by the MCU, but he's just not, like teaming up with the Avengers or whatever, it's still going to be the journey of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And that's important to kind of look at. And I think realistically, that's kind of what they're saying. It's like, look, we don't even really know what the full picture and everything is. So it's going to have to take its time. We're going to have to really take our time figuring the pieces of the puzzle out, putting them together and sort of, um, you know, having this story that makes sense, that fits into everything. Because you can't simply just keep Peter Parker the same. You can't always be like, well, he's in high school. Or, wait, he's always a deadbeat that can't afford rent. That's boring. That's not character growth, right? You have to grow with the character. And that's been some of the problems that the comics have had. Because the loud, the hardcore crybaby fans just go, no, we, we want him and Gwen and school. And then they give him that. They're like, no, we want him to be old. They're like, well, the next logical step is to do Parker Industries. And then they're like, no, Iron Boy, no. Okay, well, what do you want? We want him back at the Bugle. So then they find a contrived way to put him at the Bugle and everything else. And they're like, no, we've seen this before. Toby does it better. It's like, you just got, let the character grow, right? In a natural course of progression of life. College is a natural step. Getting a job, being a mentor is a step after that. We're going to get to those points, and I think that's what they're teasing. It's going to be something we've never seen before. Well, yeah, because they've all kind of either ended too soon or fan baby until they bring back what they want, and then they don't want it. 